Hey CCC fans, this is me, Spider Slayer from Comic Book Corner. That's right, guys. Welcome back to the CCC and welcome to another episode of the new number ones. That's right. We are getting ready for the month of May and we are getting ready for all the new number one comics in the month of May. And we have quite a few from DC. This is their new, I guess, continuation of 52 comics. Um, uh, we're going to be witnessing that. We have a few from Dark Horse, one from Dynamite, um, only a few from Marvel this this month, and a few from Image. So not as many as uh, not as many as last month, but definitely a decent amount. Uh, so with that being said, let's just get right right into it and start off our new number ones for the month of may so we're going to start off with dynamite they have one release and that is the spider that's right um this book is 399 um it is 32 pages i am not sure exactly when the release date of this book is um but it looks pretty cool. Um, nice covers, that's for sure. There's probably about four different ones of them. Um, he is um, like a dedicated war hero, and he's a son of a wealthy industrialist. Um, but he has lots of technology, and he uses his guns to aid him. Um, he's just one man against all this crime, and you're going to come across these new mysterious villains, and, um, you know, there's there's all kinds of stuff um, that comes across in this title. This book looks pretty interesting. I don't know for sure if I will pick it up or not, um, but, you know, it does look cool, and it could be the next greatest thing out there you never know like saga i mean saga took off so we shall see so if you guys are interested in something from dynamite comics um there you have it that is the spider and that is the only one um so with that being said we're going to move right along and we're going to go on to dark horse next all right guys in dark horse now we have bprd hell on earth the Devil's Engine number one. That's right, guys. This title goes for $3.50. Um, its release date will be on May 16th, 2012. Our writer is Mike Magnola, and the artist is Tyler Crook. Um, book looks pretty cool. Uh, um, again, I'm not a huge fan of this series. I... I Maybe I shouldn't say anything. I'm not going to say anything negative about it because I've never read it before. I really have not had an interest in seeing it. But for you guys out there, um, go ahead, pick this one up. It's the Devil's Engine, issue number one. So this is like another, I guess, like um, different storyline for the BPRD because I guess there's a few of them out there. Um, but go ahead and check that out. Um, so next we're going to go on to, that's right, Darth Vader and the Ghost Prison issue number one. Um, this book is $3.50. Um, it is 40 pages. Its release date won't be till May 23rd. The writer is Hayden Blackman and the artist is Augustin Elysio. Um, the cover on this book looks pretty pretty awesome uh what the story's involved about i'm not too sure but um anything with darth vader in it it's freaking awesome so you probably can't go wrong with it um i think it's very cool the way this artwork was done on this cover um you can see his ship in the background that he's getting i guess he's getting ready or he came out of and he's getting ready to do battle so Definitely interesting Star Wars, Star Wars titles. I really don't read Star Wars titles personally, uh, but when something has Darth Vader in it, it, it always, you know, piques my interest. So I might, I might check it out. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, 
Uh, but with that being said, we're going to go on to the next one. And the next Dark Horse title is... That's right, we have Resident Alien issue number one. I have no idea what this book is about. Um, but it looks like there's going to be an alien who's living. And he's part of the Resonance. In this, uh, you can see that he's sitting with his buddies here. And he's an alien wearing a flannel shirt and a waitress taking his order. Very interesting. Um, again, probably no interest for me in picking this up. I got a lot of other titles that I read. Um, a lot of things from Image. So uh, definitely not my cup of tea. But uh, this book goes for $3.50. Uh, the release date on it will be May 23rd if you're interested. It is 32 pages. And the writer is... Peter Hogan and the artist is Steve Park Parkhouse. That's right. So, if you're interested in Resident Alien number one, who knows? Could be the next saga. Um, go ahead and pick it up. If you notice, though, the waitress there is wearing some Nike shoes. So, that's pretty neat. I wonder if Nike had to pay money for that. All right. So, last but not least, here on Dark Horse, we have Mind Management. Um, interesting looking cover here um, did not do too much um, uh, I'm sorry I did not do too much research on this particular title um, but in case you guys are interested in mind management from Dark Horse um, I don't think it's worth it personally just by reviewing the price and the amount of pages you get um, this book will be $3.99 it's 24 pages, so you're paying $4 for a book that has 24 pages, and the release date will be on May 23rd. Um, I could not find out any authors or writers or anything like that about the book. Um, so, uh, with that being said, um, we're going to move on. And so we've knocked out Dynamite, and we've knocked out Dark Horse, so we're going to move on here. And we're going to go to, let's see, let's move on. Should we do image? Yeah. Yeah, let's do image. Image got some good ones coming out right now. Um, first one we're going to talk about here is this one right here. And this one is called Epic Kill. Um, this this book looks pretty cool. Um, I was trying to remember what I read about it, um, but I know it's this young teenager who goes out and she makes this crazy ass kill. Um, this book I saw some interior art on it. It looks pretty interesting. Um, Image Comics has been hitting the nail on the head with these. Uh, comics that they've been releasing looks pretty interesting um, Epic Kill issue number one will be released on May 2nd um, the price is $2.99 on this particular book um, so this one looks looked pretty interesting if if you guys are uh, at all interested Epic Kill um, next one here is going to be um, Mind the Gap this one looked very, uh, very, very interesting. Um, I did research on this particular book. It's being released um, on May 2nd as well. Um, the price point on this is $2.99. And the interesting thing about this book here is that a particular crime happened to this girl and she's in a coma. But the thing is, is, is that she can't tell anybody about the crime or what has happened and she can only visual it in her mind in a coma so you get to see like the murder and how everything happened or how all these crimes were committed in her in her brain while she's in a coma very very interesting um might be something that if you guys are interested in um go ahead and and give it a, you know check it out and see what it's see what it's all about there um, so yeah that's it mind the gap okay so next 
we are talking about the dancer. Um, this is another image comic. It's being released on May 16th. And the price point on this one is um, three dollars and fifty cents. It's done by Nathan Edmondson and Nick Klein. Um, basically, here it's a retired assassin, Alan Fisher, and his ballerina companion must escape a ruthless sniper who stalked them all through the streets of Milan to survive and protect love of his life. Alan will unravel the tapestry of past he's kept hidden and discover the killer's impossible identity from the writer, and it's it's from the writer who is Jake Ellis and the artist of the Viking. Um, it comes as spy thriller with a 21st century twist. So that's a little brief description that I got off of here. Um, looking at the book, I don't know. It it looks okay, but I don't think I'll pick it up. This is one of those ones that kind of. Uh, I guess doesn't pique my interest. A lot of image comics have, but this particular one um, has not been showing much interest for me. So the next book that we're going to come across from Image now is going to be, let's see, the next one is Grim Leaper. That's right, guys. This series is a one of four. So it's a mini. It goes for three dollars and fifty cents, and the release date on this won't be till May thirtieth. Um, artwork on the cover looks pretty interesting. They got some guy coming in here that's surrounded by other people. It looks like glass, and he's looking at this dude that has a Pac-Man shirt on. Um, it might definitely be worth checking out. Um, the story is done by Curtis J. I can't say the name. Webby art is done by Luis Santos, and and um, the interior art, though, based off of the previews that I show, looks pretty badass. Um, they actually show this one part where there's this person getting out of a car, and there's this tire being thrown at the person, and it decapitates his head. If you can picture that, um, but I see this on CBR. If you guys are interested in checking it out. Um, so if you are interested in a mini, this might be something to check out. Um, uh, the people that did this, or one of the people that do this is the Peter did uh, Peter Pantsevest. So, and he's been making this. And, it, and it's a gory rom romantic comedy. So, um, you know, who knows? It, it might be interesting to check out this mini. So if you guys are interested, check out Grim Leaper number one. Um, so next, we're going to, usually I end it with Marvel, but we're going to go into Marvel because I want to end it in DC since DC's got new titles coming out. So right now, we're going to go to Marvel. Okay, so with Marvel, this looks like an interesting one. Um, this is Marvel Zombies Destroy issue number one. This will be released on May 9th, and the price of it is $3.99. Um, this looks pretty interesting if you guys are a fan of the Marvel Zombie series. Um, we've seen a lot of these. Um, it looks like that heroes here from World War II will be going against uh, Nazi zombies. So I guess uh, we will see what happens here. Um, Marvel site's not working at this time, so I can't get that much information from it. Uh, but if you guys are interested, go ahead and check it out. All right, guys. Next is Takeo. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is done by Bendis and uh, Omeng. I think that's the name. Um, this is a book for all ages. Um, basically, what I got from my notes. Um, it's a superhero book. Um, this is obviously issue number one. It will be released on May 9th, um, 2012. And the price is $3.95, which I think is a little steep. If I think if it's a children's book um, or an all-ages book. But, you know, what are you going to do? Marvel's got to get their money some way, right? Um, but, yeah, this is Takeo uh, issue number one. Um, and last but not least, we're going to go into... 
our last um, Marvel issue number one. No, no, they're filled with Avengers versus X Men, so they don't have too much stuff coming out this month. Um, so this is um, Hulk Smash Avengers, um, a mini series issue number one of five. Um, this will be released on May 2nd, um, which is pretty much in a week or so. And the price point is $2.99, so it is a good pr price point for a mini series. And it just looks like um, Hulk facing the old Avengers, I guess, uh, back in the day. Um, it looks pretty cool. I probably or might check it out for $2.99. I think it, it might be worth checking out and seeing what it's all about. Um, so, yeah, five issues, so of more Hulk smash. So, that is it from Marvel. And we're going to go right on to um, DC. Um, they basically have the most of the month, and everyone's anticipating these, these books here. Um, so we're going to find the first one, and that one will be this one right here. This looks like a pretty cool cover. Um, this is Earth 2, issue number 1. Um, the release here is May 2nd, 2012, and the price point is $3.99. Um, there's 40 pages in this book, so it's, it's sized, and the writer is James Robinson, and the artist is Nikolai Scott. Um, so basically, I guess this is all our DC heroes um, going in Earth 2 and seeing what happens in this particular world. Um, so this one might be, you know, if you're interested, go ahead and pick it up, see what it's about. Um, it looks pretty interesting. Uh, I might check out the first issue just like I did with all the other 52s. I don't know. We'll see. DC has grabbed lots of my money, but we'll, we'll see. Um, next we have this one, which is, looks weird. It's like some horror book. DC says you'll see villains that you've never seen in the DC universe before. Um, interesting title here. It's called Dial H, issue number one. Uh, release date on this one is also May 2nd, 2012. Price point is also is, is $2.99. Um, it's 32 pages. It's written by China Meville. Um, again, it's like a horror book, and it's penciled by Mateos Setelo. Well, I don't know, Lou. So um, this cover looks interesting. You got the man in a phone booth making a phone call with some skeleton and a top hat and some guy in a cloak with long fingernails. Um, don't know what this is too much about, but I'm sure it will be interesting. It's a number one. If you're interested in it, go ahead and pick it up. So next, from DC, we have... GI Combat issue number one. It is released on May 2nd as well. The price point on this is $3.99. Your pages are 40, so I mean you're paying four dollars and but you're getting the 40 pages, so I don't know. Um, the writer is JT Kroll and the art is done by a real of, of Levetti. So now that you guys heard my Mario ringtone, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yes, Dinosaur, GI Combat, Dinosaur book, don't know what to think of it, um, might be great for the kids, because they like dinosaurs, I don't know what to think of it yet, um, we shall see, uh, again, GI Combat number one. Next on our list is... Let's see, our next one is, I think you guys might like this one. That's right, Smallville, Season 11, Issue Number 1. This is also being released on May 2nd, 2012. The price on this one is $3.99. It's 48 pages, so you get a lot for your money on this one. And, and obviously the series uh, is based off of the hit TV show, Smallville. So, um... I might check this one out um, for sure because I watch Smallville a lot and I'll be interested to see where the series goes um, from where it last left off. It, it looks pretty interesting and you got that old school Superman feel kind of to it. 
Um, so we'll see where it goes. Um, so last but not least, this is the one that probably everyone will get, and that is, that's right guys, we got World's Finest issue number one. Um, this one will be released on May 2nd. $2.99 is your price. You got 32 pages. The writer is Paul Levitz and George Perez and Kevin McGuire do the art. Uh, we all know how the Huntress was um, in her miniseries. It was phenomenal. Um, and she looks good here on the cover as well. Power Girl, however, I'm not too thrilled about. I don't like how she looks and I don't know it's it has it's just even her look and her hair is different it's just I don't know we'll see how it turns out as the series goes but I'll definitely get this one because that free comic book for free comic book day for me it is going to be free if I spend $15 or more on free comic book day so with that being said I'm definitely getting it so if you guys are interested, go ahead and get World's Finest Issue Number 1. Okay, so that was the last of the uh, older audience books. This is the stuff that I wanted to show for the kiddies. Um, this one here, we got DC Nation. Um, you can see the cool DC logo on there. Woo, sucks. And, but this book is, is done for the kids, and it's DC Nation Issue Number 1. Um, it's release will be not till May 30th, um, 2012. The price is a hefty $5, but however, you do get 64 pages for your money. Um, so it does look like it's based off, you know, it's got Green Lantern and it's got posters and pictures and, you know, all kinds of little villains and kitty stuff. Um, so if you're interested in that for the kids, uh, definitely worth picking up for you know it's good to get the kids uh, some comic book material so you know comic books will stay alive and well uh, when we're old and gray so um, I have one more to show you and that is this one right here this is Superman Family Adventure Superman Family Adventures number one release date on this one is 530 2012 the price is $2.99, and it's 32 pages. And um, again, it's great for the kids. It's based off of classic Superman elements, um, from, and it's from the creative teams, uh, the creative team of Tiny Titans. Um, so, if you guys were familiar with the Tiny Titans, um, you can see that the artwork here is definitely uh, based off of that. Um, Superman and Lois is on there with uh, Supergirl and, uh, you know, Superboy and Crypto the Superdog. So, looks interesting. So, if you're interested, $2.99, guys, for the kids again. Can't pass it up. Cannot pass it up whatsoever. All right. So, with that being said... That is it for the month of May for the new number ones. Sorry if you heard some baby crying in there, but I'm watching my daughter today. So, um, I just wanted to say uh, thanks, guys, for, for watching the new number ones for the month of May. And who knows, if you pick up that number one, it could be the next great comic of the year. Like, maybe like The Walking Dead was. Or, like how Saga is this year. So, guys, don't forget to pick up your number one issue of the month of May. So, with that being said, thank you for watching the CCC. And this is Spider Slayer from Comic Book Corner signing off. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.